in this case the possession of the mortgage property was handed over and the terms of the mortgage deed were that for a period of 85 years the mortgager will have no right to redeem back the property so what happened in the mortgage deed the mortgager mortgaged the property handed over the possession and the term described that mortgager has no right to redeem back the property for a period of 85 years so the legal hires of the plaintiff challenged the terms and conditions of the mortgage deed so the issue that was raised before the court was whether the term in the mortgage deed that provided that there will be no right of redemption for a period of 85 years so whether this term or condition was a clog on equity of redemption or not so what did the court observe the first and the foremost observation was reiteration of rule of that was laid in stanley versus wild that once a mortgage is always a mortgage so this this rule basically says if you have mortgaged the property the mortgage property will always remain a mortgage no such contract can be created which says that right of redemption is taken away under section 60 of the transfer of property act the intention of legislature is that right of redemption if it has once arisen in the mortgage it cannot be taken away section 60 empowers the court not only to relieve a mortgager but also to recognize where the right of redemption is restricted so under section 60 the right of redemption is a legal right so if as per the terms of the mortgage deed they have created any such right here in this case that for 85 years they cannot redeem so any such term or the condition of the mortgage deed will not be considered by the court however contrary to that the court observed since both the parties that is the mortgager and the mortgagee were on a equal footing and the bargain of terms and conditions of the mortgage deed was a very fair bargain so it was held that the period of 85 years was not a clog on equity of redemption however the what is held in this case that period of 85 year is not a clog on equity of redemption this is criticized and in further cases of mortgage you will see that such long term mortgages are not considered to be good so if you are if you are writing this case in exam you can criticize this case in the following manner in like modern days 85 years is definitely much more than lifetime and life span of many people so if in such a case such long duration is there it will definitely constitute a clog on equity of redemption and as per the rule of stanley versus wild once a mortgage is all will always remain a mortgage hence if practically you have taken away the right to redeem it has become a become a sale and not a mortgage because in sale you actually transfer the property but in mortgage you only hand over the possession in some cases and transfer only a limited interest in the property that is mortgage so redemption and mortgage always run parallel and they go hand in hand and no such contract can be created which takes away or restricts the right of redemption